we want to talk to you about a new idea in grow lighting. Uh, the problem with plant lamps today is they're too hot. Uh, they use the wrong type of light. They waste too much electricity. Um, uh, we used to have a lot of high pressure sodium and metal halide lamps in grow, in grow rooms and it's just not the right thing for plants. So here's, here's a couple things to think about. First, the, um, the light spectrum that we see, which is this colored area in the middle, um, and what you hear about in terms of lux and lumens and foot candles, uh, most of commercial lighting is designed for people lighting, not plant lighting. This curve here is the par light curve. This is what plants see and you can see that the light we see is green and yellow very little blue, very little red, and that's what plants need, blue light and red light. Here's this um, an example. This is a high pressure sodium in a spectral curve, and you can see all of its light is in this green and, and, and yellow area. It's got a little bit of red, a little bit of blue, and um, um, you know, it's a high pressure sodium and metal halide, uh, really designed for people, not plants. So here's the new idea. Let's take away the filament. Uh, and rather than using a filament to uh, make the light, let's use uh, a magnetic field. And this is called magnetic induction lamps. And what we've done is we've taken these two uh, magnetic inductors, put them onto either a rectangular or a circular bulb. Um, and that gives us a, um, uh, an induction lamp that uh, will burn cool and last for a very long time. Then we took some special phosphor co coatings. Uh, the team has spent over two years uh, coming up with uh, phosphor coatings that are perfect for plants. We have a number of different lamp of lamps and we're gonna just walk you through real quickly a, a, a one big idea that's gonna be fantastic for grow rooms. Um, here, here's an example now. Uh, this is the par light curve, this is what plants want. Here is high pressure sodium. You can see it's in the wrong spot. Uh, <clears throat> here's the curve for one of our lights. This is one of our flowering lamps. A huge amount of blue light, a very large amount of red light. Uh, you will not find a uh, better looking uh, spectral curve on any plant lamp in the business today. We're really, really excited about these new lamps. Okay, so the first thing we got the right kind of coatings. The second thing is a dramatic reduction in heat. Typically an HID lamp is going to burn around 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Induction lamps burn at about 10 times less. Uh, which means a whole bunch of stuff. It's better for the plants, of course, to have that less heat. Um, uh, also, you have a dramatic savings in, in removing the heat from grow rooms. So it isn't just the savings on the lamps themselves, but also on the, all the equipment required, all the fans required to pull the heat out. The other thing about having the lamps run cooler is you can put the lamps right on top of the plants. Uh, we're recommending between 8 inches to 16 inches above the plant canopy. Uh, we can put these wonderful new... Um, lamps directly on top of the plants. It's going to give you better light, more light on the plants, and that gives you better yields and uh, uh, quicker quicker turns. The, the last idea we have is this uh, red lamp to trigger fl flower bud initiation. Uh, the, the idea here is to have, have two lamps put together, two different ballasts, gives you a switch to turn on, literally a switch to turn on so you can turn on flowering, uh, much more control over the over the crop. So here's, here's our typical induction grow lamp. But over here on the right, we have this, the, our, our new redshift lamp. This is the grow lamp on the outer ring, and then a special red, red light at the center. We do this with both our rectangular lamps and our round, uh, both with this little round donut in the middle. So this is redshift, brand new idea in plant lighting, um, uh, and we're very excited about how it works. Here's this curve, it's our redshift curve. Um, uh, with the lamp turned on, look at how much we have in the red spectrum. Look how broad this shoulder is of red light. So um, the ability for the, for, the, for the grower to turn on the red shift lamp uh, at the time of flowering is fantastic. These lamps are made to be retrofit. Uh, the, uh, the lamp kit is uh, the two lamps, the rectangular or circular main grow lamp plus the, the red shift donut. It has the mounting hardware, has the two separate ballasts. These are designed to retrofit into your existing uh, horizontal fixtures. So you would take out your metal halide or high pressure sodium lamps and then retrofit in the redshift lamp. Why, why is it important? Best light spectrum of any grow light out there. Uh, uh, cool temperatures, dramatically cooler than existing grow lamps. Uh, a lower electrical draw, you're probably looking to save between 50 to 70 percent of your electricity use, uh, especially if you factor in the cooling fan uh, reduction. Uh, long life, 10 times longer than existing grow lights. Uh, enormous retrofit opportunity, uh, redshift lamps. For more information, I gave us a call at Biosonic. Uh, there's the phone number, um, or, or, or go onto our website at Biosonic Tech. Uh, look forward to talking to you about these new Redshift.